Hello everybody, this is Ricky. So today I'm going to be making an update on all my ecospheres. So as you can see, first off, we can start with a giant ecosphere from the last video. So, not much has changed in here to be honest. Maybe a little bit of plant growth, but definitely there's been some algae growth in this ecosphere. So let's check on, on our organisms. I have seen some, some smaller organisms that didn't put in there. I'm not sure what they are, but they seem to be some sort of microscopic shrimp. But yeah, he, our cherry shrimp have been doing good. Container has been sealed for, I think it's been about a week, and everything's doing good in here. Um, as you can see back here, there seems to be lots of algae growth. That algae has grown a lot. Hopefully it doesn't get out of control, but it me I'm hoping that it just means that the ecosystem's stable. Here you can see that the floating plants are starting to grow some roots, so that's pretty good. The plants, I haven't really seen any of them die off. They're all doing really good. I chose some pretty hardy plants. So that's good. Now, the shrimp, they're doing good. I got this magnifying glass so we can see our stuff better. So there's that shrimp. Let's see. Sn oh yeah, I forgot about the snails. They're, they've been also doing good. Let's see if we can find another one. Well, that's, there's that guy. Here's a baby snail. Here's more shrimp. Oh, and actually, here's some eggs. I haven't actually seen these. So, the snow's already reproducing, which is really, really good. It means it's really working so far. Pretty good that we have some eggs. Actually, I think I see some more eggs right here. Not sure if y'all can see them. I feel like I see some eggs, and... It's been doing pretty good. Let me see if I can find some more some more animals in here. Okay, so I flipped it to the other side. And here we can see a really nice red cherry shrimp hiding. He's really red. I, I don't know why he's why I put him in here. I, I prefer to keep him in my shrimp tank. But I hopefully maybe he brings him some good genes for the shrimp in here. If they ever breed. But yeah, you might be able to see him. He's, he's a really nice shrimp. He looks really red in person. And then here... Where is he? Right there. You can see that there's another shrimp hiding behind the algae. You can't really see him, but you can see a little bit of red. Then there's a ram's horn right there. I'm not sure if you can see it too well. The clarity isn't that well because there's a lot of algae on the glass. But I'm trying my best to show y'all what's in here. Saw a shrimp really around here. Yeah, there's lots of shrimp in here. Lots of snails. There's another shrimp. You can see it a little better now. Let's see what else. There's another shrimp. Looking pretty good. Looks like it's eating algae maybe. Yeah, all the shrimp look pretty healthy to me. I'll, I'll cancel it if I see that they're being unhealthy and I'll remove them from here. But right now they're doing pretty good and I hope they can stay doing good and breed hopefully in the future. So that's my 2.5 gallon ecosphere. Now here's my snow ecosphere. Not really much has changed besides the fact that the plant has grown a lot. As you can see, it's curling around the whole thing. I'm surprised it's growing that much. It's doing pretty good. And the other plant, they got eaten by them. Well, that's actually, it looks like one of the snails have died. It looks like my big, no, that's not my big snail. Here's my big snail. Oh, it looks like he's burrowing himself. And there's a pond snail on him. Yeah, no, I, I actually regret putting um, this type of plant in such a small ecosphere. The reason for is it is because with the plants in there, it competes with the algae and it doesn't let much algae grow in there. So the snails, therefore, don't have as much food. So I might have to cancel this one just because the plant probably, it wasn't the best ecosphere to be in with. And hopefully that doesn't happen with this one, but right now it seems like the fertilizer I did in the beginning, in my first video, it seems to have helped it so that algae can still grow. As you can see, there's lots of all that browns on the side of the vest. Lots of algae has been growing. So it's been doing pretty good. The plants have been growing too. So here's a, here's a one from 
the last video from my tutorial on my brine shrimp. This one is the one we added eggs to. They actually died, but some they've rehatched. But the first one I showed you on my video titled Ecosphere Update and my new saltwater ecosphere. They've been, they've grown to adult size as you can see. You can see lots of adult brine shrimp. They've been doing really good. I can't remember when I did this one, but probably a month ago. And it's still been still doing really good. They're all adults now. And they look pretty healthy to me. Yeah, they're all, they're all doing really good. I'm super happy about this ecosphere. It's really entertaining to watch. You can see lots of babies at the bottom. They might have reproduced already. I'm not sure. But if they did, that's really awesome. Yeah, they look like about the age ready to reproduce. This is a pretty big guy right there. And lots of algae has grown, which is pretty good. They obviously need lots of algae. Yeah, there goes that big guy. It's really big. That's been doing really good. Hopefully it can last really long because I really like this brine shrimp ecosphere. So if y'all want to ever do this ecosphere such as this one, just check out my tutorial. And it seems to have been working, so if y'all ever want to do this right there, just watch my tutorial. So before we end the video, I do want to show y'all one of my some of my future projects that I have on my channel. So here you can see I have three 10 gallons. They're right now empty, but I have bought all the equipment needed to set them up. All I need is livestock. And what I wanted to ask you guys is what types of organisms or what types of projects or what do you want me to do with these three 10 gallon aquariums? If y'all have any ideas, anything you want to see, I'll do it. These tanks I'll dedicate to, to y'all so y'all can add whatever y'all want in here. So yeah, 10 gallon tanks, if y'all have any suggestions on what to put in here, any cool projects or ideas y'all have, y'all can share them in the comments, and I'll be happy to read your comments and accept any ideas and do them in my channel. And I'll be doing an update on my fish tank soon. Here I'll just show y'all my shrimp tank real quick, and I actually, I'm going to show you a quick sneak peek to my saltwater tank. Won't say anything about them, but yeah. Just a quick sneak peek, peek about that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video right there. And just remember, if y'all have any any suggestions for these tanks, I'll be happy to hear them. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.